The Lego Batman movie is about Batman. And in a Lego form, stopping the Joker from causing mayhem, while also learning to be a father to Robin. This is voiced by Will Arnett, who voiced Batman in the Lego movie, and that was massively popular. So of course they're going to adapt one of the best characters from that movie into their own movie. This time around we also get Robin, voiced by Michael Cera, Barbara Gordon, voiced by Rosie O'Dawson, and Alfred as well, and Joker, voiced by Zach Galifianakis. There's a lot of people in here and a lot of villains, and I was truly excited to see this movie because, one, it looked hilarious and they were going to poke so much fun at Batman and this movie is is so smart. It is a well written story with truly truly gut busting scenes. I like Legos and I like Batman. It could be a lot of fun and it was a lot of fun. When watching this movie I actually thought this was a really well told Batman story. If they wanted to adapt this into a real life action Batman movie that was a pretty good story. On top of a actual good Batman story is the humor. This movie is hilarious from beginning to end. It pokes so much fun at the history of Batman, who Batman is as a person, Bruce Wayne's life, if he's an orphan, he's alone. They poke so much fun at it while still paying respect to this longtime hero. Will Arnett is perfect as Batman. He gets the voice acting down to a T, and it's so fun to watch Bruce Wayne in his normal life versus Batman's life. Then you get Michael Sarah as Robin, which was perfect as well. Overall, the whole voice cast was just truly outstanding. There's a lot of pop culture references, and they even utilize other Warner Brother properties in here, which I thought was really smart. And it added something new to this Batman story down the road, because I wasn't expecting to go that route, and I really welcomed the other Warner Brother properties when they became when they came into play. So there's a lot of pop culture references, a lot of things people will get, some things people may not get. The animation is beautiful as I expected. The voice acting is great. Everything is great up until the end. The end for me is a little drawn out. I found myself to be rather bored, a little sleepy to be honest. It felt repetitive and drawn out and the end resolution was a little ridiculous even for a Lego movie to be honest. I felt like it was a cop out to end the story. But overall I really enjoy this movie. It's a lot of fun. The humor is there. The voice acting is great. It feels like a Batman movie. It knows how to handle the Batman characters. Poking fun at Batman was so much fun. I laughed a lot. There's a lot of adult comment. There's a lot of adult humor in there that I appreciate it, and I, me and my wife, were laughing a lot at. But the end just felt a little drawn out, a little repetitive, and a little ridiculous, to be honest. But overall, I had a lot of fun with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the Lego Batman movie an A minus. Have you guys seen the Lego Batman movie? What do you think about it? I think it's a little better than the Lego movie. It actually has a rather intriguing story that I can get behind, because it's Batman, Batman's awesome, you know, him fighting a bunch of random people, it's just awesome. I hope Warner Brothers continues to make Lego movies down the road because these are hilarious. So, thank you guys for watching, as always, the support is greatly appreciated, thank you guys for subscribing, checking out my channel, watching my videos, commenting, whatever it is, I really do appreciate it. This is Just Watch Movies, and you stay classy, YouTube.